Mikey boy. Yes, Dan. I think today I've got the blueprint on the perfect beer review. I don't get it. Uh, first of all, we're FLX Beer Reviews. Another oh. episode of As the Beer Swirls. Dan, Mike. Mike. Uh, Mike, we have to inspect this beer. Oh. This is from Pipe Dream Brewing Co. Oh. Out of London Dairy, New hey. Hampshire. Nice. And, uh, you know, hey. They got some blueprints on here. They got some Ooh. blueprints. Uh, it says inspect. They're taking us. down a game so, show so stage. So maybe, bam! The whole stage comes down. Uh, we should have done this with Bumpy over at Jesse or uh, Jesse over at Bumpy Road Brews because mm-hmm. he's got his fifty point inspection. Right. And I think they need fifty points to inspect all this blueprint. I stuff. think you are absolutely uh, right. Anyways, this is uh, New England style double India Pale Ale, Ooh, and right. it's dry hopped with Citra and Amarillo hops, Ayo. coming in at. 8% ABV, and this is from the aforementioned Pipe Dream Brewing Co., and they actually sent us off a can of this to enjoy and inspect, and just hopefully we like everything about it, and we'll it just, you know, goes oh You know what, I'm just going to call it right now. This is shit. Actually, this is looking pretty, 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 pretty good. Um, I think we've determined at this point they don't, have any uh, floaties or anything? No, no prizes at the bottom, but that's all right. There's no cash and prizes. Uh, yeah, that is just uh, oh, that's a bright, juicy looking beer. This is actually the brightest IPA we've had from them. I think you're right. Uh, just a a a nice kind of light orange, nice foamy head on it. Swirls up real nice. Oh, swirl up uh, and just proper glassware. All sorts of just dolloping of shaving cream. Yeah, we like that. Wow, look at that. Look how compact and just yeah. Look at this piece. So even some nice lacing. Look at that. I mean, it's uh, you can already kind of tell this is a, a well-made beer. Yeah. Um, let's get a whiff. <laughs> okay. So this is reminiscent of another beer we had from you. Where I'm getting that stanky fruit yeah. off it, that oniony vegetal. I would say on this one, the malt character comes pops through more though. Yeah, yeah. There is that, and and not in the bad way that we described from the OG review of Straight Outta Quarantine. Right, right. But there is not this kind of sun tea nice, kind of nice malt. brisk fucking Sylvester Stallone hey, hey, yo, brisk baby, baby. Uh, kind of thing going to it. It's very nice. But there's this nice distinct uh, kind of fruity hop character that goes along with it. Sort of like Fruity Loops, like Fruity yep. Pebbles. Yep. Um, you got your lemons, your uh, strawberry, you got your uh, little bit of lime. Yeah, get little, some limes little lime in there. Um, this little orange, there's like a, a pithy aroma to it. It's very nice, very pleasant. Huh. <laughs> just enamored. Yeah, it just it looks, look at it. It looks pretty. Look at it go. Oh, look at it. Let's cheers it. Let's do it. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Pipe Dream. Well, it's kind of soft. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So this one's very crackery. Yeah, like biscuity. Mm-hmm. Biscuity wheat crack. Thingy. Like, definitely some wheat. Flaked mm-hmm. wheat. Mm. I'm still getting a lot of a lot of fleshy, overripe fruit. Mango, melon. Get like a... It's, it's like a floral, floral kind of black pepper thing going okay oh man that is the pithy orange rind is coming through almost a bit of basil like really oh wow okay i'm getting like frozen can orange juice okay man this oh, that this one is so earthy it's very earthy and biscuity and crackery yeah which and not in the way we said the last one What's earthy, like, mm-hmm. and their beers are different. It's crackery, though. Mm-hmm. But now I that... I still get that wheat, then. Oh, I just got this little burst of, uh... Hmm. My goodness. This is interesting. It is. There's a nice floral note to it, like a... I don't know if I'm liking this one, bright to be flower. honest. Really? Yeah, I don't know if I like it. Okay. I mean, it's a well-made beer. I just, I, for my personal preference, I don't think I'm digging the what it has to offer. Okay. What about it? I don't know. It's just, for me, it's just a little bit too... I'm a bit of a haze boy. 
I like that. I like the juice. I we like know. The we, juice. we know. We know this about you. I um, see your hat. Your freaking Poshmark hat. You love buying used clothes online. Um, <laughs> no. I, okay. All right. Here's what I don't like. I don't. You ever like drink an IPA? Uh, like a, a New England IPA, right? I have. And a couple times. You didn't let me finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and it, it, it's late night. And you just. I generally drink them in brunch hours, early morning. Okay. But continue. And you, you don't rinse out your glass. You just kind of leave I it I always rinse my glasses. I, I'm very cleanly. Continue. Okay. But that one time you're really tired and you just you drink it. And I've just never like, slept oh, in I'm my life. For bed. And. The next day, you grab the glass and you bring it over to the sink ready to wash it and just you know, get a whiff or you mm-hmm. take a sip of it. And that's when you can tell all the the oat and wheat and the, okay. the barley and the, like you get all, all like right. that, like what you smell out in the field. You know what I mean? Mm. That's when you get that. I'm getting that through the beer, which. Okay. Which I'm not used to. Just say it's garbage. See, no, it's not see, garbage. See, this was a, a blueprint for destruction. It is a blueprint that is a constant reminder to me that I enjoy the other hop forward beers from Pipe Dream. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I really like the, the viney aspect of this. It did it, it's it's pleasing to me. Alright, uh what do you rate it, Mike? I will I will give this one a three nine. Okay. For me, I, for me, it's like a three and a half. Okay, it's it's all right. It, it, it's nothing. It's nothing I'm writing home about. It's, I don't think if this was on tap, I might try it again. But I don't think I'm going out. I'm pulling other four packs off the cooler shelf than this one if I'm at Pipe. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Like, it's not my favorite that I've had from them so far. Like, it it does bring back the straight out of quarantine. Like, mm-hmm. I like that one more than this one. Um, the good vibes. I like that one more than this one. I think you guys definitely need to really. I mean, if you're in the New Hampshire area and in this area, and you haven't had Pipe Dream yet, go check oh them my out. Gosh, yeah, um, but absolutely. I don't think this is one like I'm messaging Bumpy and saying, "Hey, um, can you procure this one for me uh, to send my way or something?" Okay. Or, or if we're meeting up, you know, for thing. Hey, stop the Pipe Dream. Grab these. Beer, such, such, such. Sure. I don't sure. think this is one that I'm doing. Okay. Fair enough. If that makes sense. They all can't be winners. No. They it's all, all can't be. Still still a solid beer, uh, I think. No, yeah, it's solid. It's just personal preference. I mean, yeah. It's all right. I get it. I feel like it tastes like the, the picture on your glass. The Mario Alien Seymour? Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. That was a delicious burp I just had. Still a good beer. Uh, down in the description, probably got some stuff. Uh, yeah, untapped. FLX Beer is on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, let us know if you've had Pipe Dream. Do you, what do you think of them? Yeah, um, what's, your, yeah. what's your go-to Pipe Dream beer that you like to get? Right. All right, guys. I was like, no, thanks for watching, everybody, and thanks, Pipe Cheers. Dream. Cheers. Cheers.